Okay, so today I am gonna try and do some lunchtime crate digging over at Flipside Records here in Clawson. They're gonna be changing locations at the end of July, so I'm not sure what their inventory is going to look like. Hopefully, they will still have a lot to uh, dig through, but we will see. Yeah, no problem, man.
Okay, well, I am very glad I showed up here today. Found um, a couple of very cool things. Got a picture sleeve of I Want to Hold Your Hand. I saw her standing there with Now this looks different to me. I'm not sure. I know I have another, I've got another single of this and this looks different. I can't quite place why. I know it's got the little plastic thing in the middle, but when I get home, I'm gonna have to compare it to my other single 45 that I have of that. And then, holy crap, they had a ton of cassettes today. A lot of cool stuff that I ended up grabbing. In excess, elegantly wasted. I've never seen this on cassette. Got this for three bucks. Morrissey, Viva Hate. His first solo album. Got that for six bucks. Van Halen Balance. Got this for five. New Order Republic. And this is one I had not ever seen before. This is a uh, Canadian. It's the um, four song EP for the Don't Stand So Close To Me 86 single. And it's Canadian, so it has a black cassette, but very cool. This has the dance mix, um, the regular single, um, the original version of Don't Stand So Close To Me off the um, Zenyatta Mandata album, and then a live version of Don't Stand So Close To Me, and that's replicated on both sides of this cassette. So I thought that was very interesting. Got more, another Morrissey one. This is November Spawned a Monster. This is the uh, cassette single that I picked up. And then I also got this for a dollar. I already have this, but this was a copy in really great condition. And I'm not sure, it looks like this cassette is different than the one that I have. So anytime there's something that's even slightly different, a slight variation, I'm gonna grab it, particularly when it's a great album, one of my favorites like Ghost in the Machine. And then the last thing I got, this is The Fix. This is a live album uh, on cassette. It's got all their hits live. So very cool. I could have easily spent 20 more dollars in there, but you know, my limit was gonna be 30. And so I stuck to that. Although I had to leave behind and it broke my heart, but with those cassettes, I couldn't pass them up. They had a uh, quiet riot metal, metal health with in the shrink with the hype sticker for 16 bucks. Ah. Uh, Man, it's one of those I'm going to have to come back someday if, you know, maybe like in a week's time and hopefully it'll still be there. I doubt it, but it's one of those, you know, something's got to get left behind when you're working within a budget. So that was it, but it broke my heart. Damn it. So anyway, I know uh, I showed some of the cassettes and strangely, somebody on the you know, the spine of the J card had colored in red magic marker. A lot of those cassettes would have been so cool if they hadn't done that. Um, I don't know why they did that. But anyway, uh, I had to pass up on a lot of those because I don't want cassettes that somebody has colored on. But anyway, uh, that's my haul. Hope you're doing great and take care.